Hello, my name is Jack, and welcome to the Phoenix. Uh, this house is 5,300 square feet, and it is totally, totally self-contained. It has solar power, it has its own water system, and everything is self-contained in the entire house. Come on in, let's have a look. It's about 30-something degrees out today. It was about 5 last night, so it's kind of cold out here, but we were nice and cozy last night. We have about 2,000 square feet of greenhouse, and as you can see in the design, there's actually bottles used in the design. Let's go inside, where it's nice and warm. There we go. We try to keep most of the doors closed to keep in the nice warm air. First of all, you can see we, there are a lot of plants on the inside when they designed it. It's designed and built by Mike Reynolds here in Taos, New Mexico. So let's take a little journey inside. There's an indoor greenhouse, as you can see. And that's about 2,000 square feet. We have one bedroom in here. And come on in and take a look. This is an all self-comprised greenhouse in here. This is a living area with a beautiful fireplace as you can see. That's set up later on for gas. Right now it's not operational but it's really nice design. TV up there. We have Wi-Fi, a little bit of everything. This is a little sitting area. There's a kitchen area right here. Of course, refrigerator. It is right here. Okay, let's go ahead and visit the other bedroom. This is actually a three bedroom, two bath house. And as you can see, there are a lot of art features in it, including the chandelier and all the decorative art on the walls. Let's go look at the other bedroom. Down here. We have a little mini greenhouse in here. A nice little sitting area in the foyer, although you wouldn't want to sit outside today. It's a little bit too cold. And there's another bedroom, which actually could be a mother-in-law room because it's self-contained by itself as well. Here's the bed. Some of the light comes in from the walls. And we'll walk around. Little desk area, closet. And a bathroom with a double sink and a tub. I haven't mentioned yet, but all the water used in the house comes from either rain or snow. It actually gets recycled four times. The first time for drinking water, second time for the sink, uh, third time for uh, the plants, for the indoor plants, and then the fourth time for outside. So come on, let's go ahead and take a look at outside. There's actually two walls of glass. It's double insulated. I want to make sure that I close this door because there are birds in here. About 2,000 square feet of greenhouse. We'll walk down over here. In the summer, I hear that it gets up to actually 120 degrees in here. You can grow your own vegetables, your own herbs, or almost anything.
There are skylights built into the system that helps control the temperature. Go visit. There is also a pond right here. And I think they currently have tilapia in it. Beautiful greenhouse. All kinds of different plants, including banana plants and everything else in here. And this is the rest of the greenhouse. Let's go out this door right here. This is another door going outside. And we'll go back in and now we'll visit the master bedroom and the master bath. This is the master bedroom right here. Now just to mention it, you notice that a lot of the walls have bottles in them. This is made of concrete, and the bottles do not add anything to the thermal mass, but they do take up space and they provide a little bit more lighting. And as you can see, here is the master bedroom. We have some nice stained glass. Here are some bottles along this wall right here. Built-in cabinets. And downstairs, there is a closet area. So we'll take a little walk down here. And as you can see, there is plenty of storage space for clothes and blankets and other things down here. This is about 20 by 12 in terms of space down here. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Integrated into the house, you'll notice there's a lot of actually natural stone. go right here into the master bath. Right here, there's the bathtub. It's heat on demand for the water, so you simply push this timer like so, in about 90 seconds you have hot water. This is an example of the skylight that is used to control the temperature. When it gets too hot, you can simply open those up and they work on a pulley system. Now let's go and see what the house is made of. This is another bedroom right here. And the walls themselves are basically made of mud, made of adobe and straw. Let's go inside. This is a storage room. 